Hello and welcome to another video. I'm so happy to be here to teach you something today, okay? This iPhone come to my shop because I have no service, okay? Have no service. And when you dial this, okay, you don't have the serial number. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to diagnose this kind of uh, failure and to you to don't uh, make so many mistakes, okay? So welcome to another video. Okay, so this phone is already fixed, okay? I'm going to teach you how I fix this phone because uh, it's... Um, Radio frequency is one of the failure that is easy to understand. But the thing in radio frequency is uh, you have to measure a lot. Okay, so that's why sometimes it's a little bit complicated. And sometimes you have to have the steps to fix these kind of uh, things. Okay, so for example, this, uh, this phone come to my shop, like I say, uh, because don't have the serial number, but we have one thing. Okay. Remember, you you had to do this, okay? When you receive a, a phone with uh, no service, the first thing is you had to check if you have the serial number and the screen, okay? If you have this, this is one step, and then you had to check if you have the uh, firmware firmware modem, okay? This one, the firmware modem. I'm going to zoom a little bit. This one, okay? This one is so important because this one told you the baseband is on. Okay, so in this case, this phone has the baseband version, but don't have the serial number on the screen. When I dial a pound, a 06 pound, right? I don't have the serial number. But the thing with this phone is I have this. I have the, the baseband version. Okay, so you have to understand what happened there before uh, you start uh, fixing this kind of uh, failures, okay? Because when this phone, when I dial this one, this, zero, 06, this, okay? No email, okay, right? But I have version basement, okay, okay? So this is two different failures. When you have a baseband version, it's because your baseband is on. To have a, a to have a, a, an iPhone a baseband, sorry, on, you had to have. Remember, you have a baseband CPU. This is the IC for. This is the CPU for radio frequency. Okay, and then you are going to have a PMU, PMU RF. The PMU RF is the one. Uh, in charge to send the power lines to the CPU of baseband, right? And then you have to have some clocks. I'm going to teach you this one later. Some clocks to have the baseband on. You also have to have the EEPROM working to have the baseband on. Also, the baseband had to talk, okay, with the CPU with the PCIe line, okay? To have the baseband working and the stage on. Also, you are going to have one circuit here that we are going to call this one WTR. The WTR had two uh, parts, one analogic and one digital, okay? When the digital is working, you need the digital working because this one is going to talk with the baseband. Remember right here, we are going to have the front end. And the front end is all analogic, right? And the front end, we had the antennas, we had the, P, the amplifiers, we had the cupoid. The cupoid is the one that brings power to the PI. Uh, we have duplexor, uh, we have a lot of components right here. Okay, all the analog, all the the front end receive all, everything and send this one to the WTR, and the WTR has to talk with the base. Okay, so understand this because we have baseband version. That means we have our baseband on. 
If I had the baseband on, it's because the PMU RF is good, it's because the clocks are good, it's because the EEPROM is good, and it's because the PCA lines are good, and it's because the WTR, the digital part, is good. So we don't have nothing to do with these lines or with this component. If I have a version, a, verse, a baseband version, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to uh, touch this component. Why? This component is the one provide power to my baseband, and the baseband is on because I have the, verse, the baseband version. So I'm not going to touch this component. I'm going to leave this component there. I'm not going to touch it. The problem with this phone is when I dial this, I don't have the serial number. Why? In this case, if we don't have this one, but we have, remember, baseband. If we have the baseband on, but we don't have a serial number, so we have five things to do, okay? And I'm going to show you how I fix this one. We have five things to do. The first thing that you have to do is in Qualcomm, remember Qualcomm, this is Qualcomm. Qualcomm, okay? Number one, RFFE, okay? RFFE. The first thing that you are going to check on this component is short circuit, circuit, okay? This is the first thing that you have to do. How? You're going to open the, uh, for example, this is the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? And then you have one part here say signal. Okay, signal. So we, you have all the RFFE lines right here. So you have to click the first one. You have to click in, in data. You have to scratch this, um, this test point. And then you have to check in dial mode just to see if you have short there. And then you have to do the same thing with clock. You have to, you have to scratch this test point and then you have to check with dial mode and just try to see if you have a short circuit on those lines, okay? This is the first thing that you have to do. You have to go in every RFFE line. The first one and then the second one, the same thing. And then the third, the fifth, and so on, okay? You have to check for short circuit. Number two. You have to check connection on board B and A. What do you mean on connection, Edgarito? Okay, so you are going to come back to the first one. You are going to click data. You are going to click the test point and now you have to check the test point. This test point had to have this value and then in the B board and then you have to go to the A board and do the same thing right here. Then you go to clock, click right here and check this connection and this connection. Why? Because in Qualcomm, if you have a PA, the power amplifier with no connection, you are going to have no email, email. So that's why it's so important to check this thing. Okay, so number two, short circuits. Number, number one, short circuit. Number two, connection, okay? I, in this phone, I have all this good, okay? So number three, number three is, number three, Number three, WTR. WTR, you can do two things. The first one is Revolve. Okay, Revolve. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to do Revolve of this circuit. Okay, but remember, don't jump to this step before you check the RFFE lines, okay? Because if you do revolve in this one and you have a short circuit and the RFFE lines, 
you are still don't going to have a serial number okay so you you can do revolve on this uh, on this component okay you can do revolve on this component if you do revolve and you still don't have the serial number so you had to do number four software you can check the software if you still don't have a serial number, you are going to check connections on WTR. I forget to tell you something, okay? In this section right here. Right here we have the scan, RFFE. Okay, what do you mean scan, Edgarito? Okay, you can use this kind of tool. This is the, the JC. Okay, this is the RFFE2. Okay, and with this one, leave the comment if you can use this one because I can make a video how, and show you how to use this one. With these tools, you are going to check for this component. For example, if you click right here, you have to make a jumper here, a jumper here, a jumper to 1.8, and then ground. And then you can use a scan just to see if these components are good okay so you have to do the same thing with every uh, RFFE line okay so you have to check if some of the power amplifier are disconnected okay remember in Qualcomm if you have a power amplifier or a PA disconnected you are going to have this issue with no serial number in the screen when you dial uh, asterisk uh, pound or 06 pound okay this number I, I don't know in English okay so first thing first thing R F if R F R F F E short circuit connection to the board B and A and a scan R, R F F E number three WTR reballing number four software number five okay check the WTR lines. This is a lot of work, and that's why sometimes some technician just do the swap and that's it. Okay, when I when I say check the WTR lines, is because you had to come right here. Okay, you had to uh, you had to take up to take uh, down the the WTR, and you had to start checking every single line. When I start checking these lines, I have this one and this one with disconnect with no value. That means we have a problem with who? With this amplifier. Edgar, you already told me you scan with this tool and you have this component. Yes. So that's why it's so important sometimes don't just say, okay, just because the tool say the component is there, the component is good because sometimes the comp this component have a lot of lines. And with this tool, you are only reading the data and the clock line, forcing with the tools to read back the component. But in this case, we have a problem with these two lines, okay? What's the problem right here is when I take down this component i have this huge mistake okay so when i when i take apart this component see so many paths are missing so many paths if we come back right here we can check i don't have these paths i don't have this path and also i don't have these paths see i'm going to put see i have so many paths and that's why this component is disconnected to the WTR and that's why we don't have serial number. The problem right here is uh, this technician applied too much heat to the board and that's why we have this problem. So in this case, I don't have nothing to do with this board. So I had to do the swap and that's why uh, I did the swap in this board. But sometimes it's just uh, one PA disconnected or one RFFE line in short but if you understand this you can uh, have the step by step and sometimes you don't have to do a swap right and then number five number six change WTR 
and software. Only these six steps are the ones you have to check when you don't have serial number on the screen, but you have baseband version or the baseband is on. In this case, the problem is because we don't have a this amplifier is disconnected and this amplifier talk with the WTR and if this one is not talking so the WTR don't recognize this one and we don't have the serial number okay easy 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 but you have to have the steps in this case I maybe expand like two hours on this one sometimes it's just easy to do the swap and that's it the problem to do this, just the swap and say, okay, I'm going to charge to my customer, I'm going to make money for my coffee today, is you never are going to learn because sometimes you only are doing the easy thing. So if you do this and if you have the step by step, you are going to learn a lot. Okay, so don't forget to leave your love, share this video with your friends, and maybe someday, sometime you're going to have 5,000 subscribers. See you next time. Adios.